What's up, y'all, and welcome back. You are watching Driven Passion, and I have something special to tell you guys. I'm finally going to go with ethanol. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Thanks, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna do an actual unboxing and while we're doing an unboxing together I'm gonna go ahead and talk about each and separate piece that comes into this kit so let's do it all right let's start with the unboxing okay what is this this is a low pressure fuel pump let me put this to the side right now. So I want to talk about this first. Which so it says the Alpha Performance Infinity Q50 Q60 Flex Fuel Complete Kit. Okay. Oh, including the fuel Bluetooth sensor and Ecutech input. Let's open this. It's so Whoa. All right, so this right here specifically is the input wire for the EcuTech. So what this input wire does is it basically gets to communicate with the actual ECU of the engine. And by putting this input wire in, you're able to have parameters adjusted depending on your ethanol content that's inside of your tank. So basically the sensor will read the ethanol content. It'll tell the computer how much ethanol is in the engine and the in engine on its own will go ahead and do the calibrations properly. Obviously you'll need to get tuned for ethanol first before that can even work. So that's the first piece. Okay. So this right here is the sensor and the sensor comes with some fittings comes with matter of fact I'm gonna close this I'm gonna lay it out so we have the sensor we have one two Three fittings. I have one bracket. And the screws. Okay, so the next piece we have here. Oh no, this is the Bluetooth sensor right here. The other piece is kind of like a flow meter for monitors flow this is the actual sensor with the Bluetooth and it, as you can see it already has a connection so everything can connect I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the last one we have this connection here we have the fuse where you can basically tap it into the fuse box and it comes with its own fuses attention to detail I like it the Bluetooth sensor made by fuel it okay We have one of the brackets for the lines because it, it comes with a different line and the second bracket. Okay. And this right here looks like some kind of clamp for one of the wires here to kind of keep them from moving. I'm pretty sure it's has something to do with this one. But, uh, 
That's what that one is. I want to apologize by giving you guys the wrong information, but this right here is actually, it's pretty much a crimp. So basically, when you put the wires in, it pretty much takes the wire from one wire and gets, supplies it to another. And you clamp it down like that. So that's what that is. Okay. So the next piece, it's one of the new fuel lines that you're gonna get for the flex fuel kit. Uh, if I was to guess, um, two feet, probably about two feet long. It's very, very, this is very solid. This is a solid line. It's flexible. Like you can move it around without fighting it. But you can also tell how well this thing is built. And if I could take the, the line off of it, you can see this is made for one of the fittings that comes that we saw earlier. So that's the, that one is, put that to the side. And we have a second one. And this one is a little bit different because it has J fittings on the ends of both ends. And this one is probably about a foot long. If you add the J fittings a little bit longer, probably like another two inches. So just a little over a foot. And it has J fittings and the same thing with the J fittings. These will connect to the fittings that come, that came in the kit that we saw earlier. Okay. And this is everything that comes in the box. So we have the longer line, the shorter line, the wire, for the uh, fuel meter and also the Bluetooth fuel it sensor, the connector that goes to the fuel box, the fuel it sensor, Bluetooth sensor, one of the brackets for the line, and another support bracket with a plastic support clamp. This is the input wire for the ECU for Ecutech software. We got three screws, one long one and two small ones that are the same size. We have like a hold down bracket here. And this is one of three, the AN fittings. These, these things are built well, by the way. Everything feels quality as I'm picking it up. And this, it's like another meter sensor, flow sensor, so. Hold on, what did I say? Oh, uh, this is made by GM. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see. It's made by GM. <laughs> It makes sense because GM does have a lot of flex fuel vehicles. I'm pretty sure 90% of their gas vehicles are flex fuel. Now on to the fuel pump. All right, now that I got it open. We have a pump and a bracket. I don't know if any of you guys, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already knew this, but in the beginning, to get a low pressure fuel pump for the Q50s and the Q60s, a lot of guys had to custom make their own brackets or secure it without this, um, because there, were, there was no way to really secure an aftermarket fuel pump without, you know, without securing it another way because this was not made yet, uh, especially when a VR30 was brand new to the platform, you know, a couple years ago. So pretty amazing what AMS is just engineering to make things more reliable. Um, I'm always excited to see companies, you know, pay attention to detail of what, what we have to deal with. 
and how to help us and how to fix it. So this is the actual low pressure fuel pump here. And um, this is a US made TI automotive fuel pump. Has like a little bit of a like slick feel to it. Almost like it has like a really, really thin coat of oil in the packaging. Um, feels good, looks good. Um, this is a 450 um, liters per hour low pressure fuel pump that goes to the tank. This is what we get. Ah. So we have a support bracket for the top. So that's going to go there. Now obviously we have the connectors here. And these are heats, uh, the heat wrap type. So basically when you heat them up, they should seal the wires so the fuel don't get into the wires. Now obviously you have these right here. And another support hole, like a guide hole. And um, what you see is what you get in the low pressure fuel pump kit for from AMS. It's a beautiful kit. Um, I don't think I have any issues installing it. So that's going to be another video, but that's the unboxing. So that was the unboxing of the low pressure fuel pump and also the flux fuel kit, both from AMS. Um, these are things that are required for a for um, E85 for the Q50 and the Q60s with the 3.0 T aka VR30 DDTT. Also, you would need a high pressure fuel pump. Um, AMS has two, and there's a third one that I don't know the name off the top of my head. But I have a high pressure fuel pump on its way. It's actually a high pressure fuel pump from AMS, which is built by Nostrum Energy. So with the high pressure fuel pump and a kit that I just showed you with the low pressure fuel pump, you would, that is everything you would need to run E85 on a Q50 or a Q60. And running E85 will unlock great potential of what this motor can actually do. Um, just by watching YouTube videos of other cars with, you know, E85 and just a few bolt-ons, I'm, I'm seeing these cars beat some really fast cars. And um, I'm not trying to be the fastest thing out there, but I like the idea of running flex fuel um, because flex fuel is clean. Um, E85 is clean so as long as you're doing a proper maintenance to your motor to make sure the ethanol doesn't eat your engine up um, your engine can essentially last longer because it's burning cleaner fuel so I like that idea of burning cleaner fuel in my engine especially with the kind of power that I'm you know gonna be trying to put through this thing um, but also just keeping it as reliable as possible. Um, another thing I probably consider as far as fuel mods go is port injection. And port injection, I wouldn't be getting it for getting extra power, which it will be able to give me more power, especially with upgraded turbos. But the main thing for me is reliability of the engine. Um, having fuel, you know, inject on top of the intake valves will help keep the heads and the intake valves clean so that I don't have to have a head job done or have to have the heads cleaned you know every 30,000 40,000 miles because of carbon buildup um, so that is just gonna supplement the reliability of the heads of this engine um, by doing port injection and hey just by having the extra fuel it wouldn't be an issue running higher horsepower numbers with bigger turbos. But that's going to be in another video. So thank you for watching. Um, if you like the content, make sure you like. Um, consider subscribing to my channel. I know this is a small channel, but we will grow together. And um, thanks again for watching. God bless.